adventurous pass for two is granted to a monkey named Dez, who aspires to journey across the globe. His goal is to... After signing autographs, Dez waves to the spectators, preparing to depart, only for his mother to intervene, stopping him, claiming he's not yet ready for such a grand expedition. Dez insists he's prepared, but his mother points out he isn't even wearing any pants. Abruptly, Dez awakens from his dream, realizing it was a nightmare. As he hears his mother knocking at the door, he begins to pack his room, adding items related to his travels and aspirations. When Dez opens the door, his mother enters and scolds him for his desire to explore the world. She reveals that she never wanted him to leave, which is why she secluded him from the jungle as a child, ensuring he was isolated from the outside world. Exhausted by his mother's incessant nagging, Dez decides to take a walk through the dull city. While wandering, he accidentally bumps into Agent Fix, the town's sheriff, and quickly apologizes. The sheriff ignores him, continuing to address a group of gamblers. The gamblers confess they've been betting on how long it will take to make Des cry, but the sheriff warns them to stay away. Des heads toward the dock and engrosses himself in his book of adventures. The bullies from earlier approach him, telling him about their bet. Des tries to reason with them, but they're adamant about their goal to make him cry. Just as they corner him, Agent Fix intervenes. Suddenly, Des notices a frog surfing the ocean waves and informs the others. They all stand in awe as the frog surfs toward them. The gamblers shift their bets, wagering whether the frog will be eaten by birds before reaching the shore. The frog surfs with great skill, but as it nears land, birds begin attacking. Despite this, the frog holds its own until it's thrown into a massive wave, washing it ashore. Des offers to help the frog, but in the process, the frog steals Des's wallet. After thanking Des for his assistance, the frog introduces himself as Phileas, a world-class explorer. As they converse, Phileas deftly robs bystanders of their money, drawing the attention of Sheriff Fix, who confronts him. Phileas introduces himself and boasts of his title as a world explorer. Intrigued, Des expresses his aspiration to become as renowned as the famed explorer Juan, who famously circled the world in 90 days. Phileas dismisses Juan's achievement, claiming he can do it in just 80 days. The gamblers overhear their conversation and challenge Phileas, doubting anyone can travel the world in 80 days. Des, determined, insists that he knows a route that would make the feat possible. Phileas, seeing the potential prize, agrees to the bet, summoning the town to witness the challenge. Tempted by the sight of the prize money, Phileas contemplates absconding with it. However, Agent Fix steps in, accusing Phileas of being a thief. Phileas counters by vowing to return within 80 days to claim his prize. Des volunteers to be Phileas's assistant, though Phileas hesitates. Eventually, seeing Des's persistence, Phileas agrees, and the adventure officially begins. After everyone disperses, Phileas asks Des to show him a place to stay, and when he sees Des's house, he asks to stay with him. Des refuses, warning Phileas about his overbearing mother and telling him not to reveal their travel plans. When they arrive at Des's home, however, Phileas immediately tells his mother about their plan to travel the world. Furious, she locks Des in his room and throws Phileas out. As Phileas leaves, he spots Des through the window. Des scolds Phileas for revealing their plans, but Phileas apologizes, claiming he didn't want Des to be a burden. Phileas then suggests breaking Des out the following morning and eloping together, requesting Des's savings to buy tickets in advance. Des, trusting him, breaks open his safe and hands over all his money. The next morning, Agent Fix is alerted to a bank robbery where a hole was blown in the wall and the city's treasury was stolen. Fix quickly deduces that Phileas is the culprit due to frog-like footprints at the scene. Meanwhile, Des awakens, hearing the fairy's horn and spotting Phileas leaving town. Des hurriedly grabs his bag, escapes through the window, and leaves a note for his mother. The gamblers remind Phileas about the bet just as the ferry departs. Des rushes to the dock and attempts to leap onto the ferry, only to fail and be saved by a lifeguard. Angrily, Des scolds Phileas for nearly leaving him behind and demands a refund. Phileas apologizes, promising to take the adventure seriously. As the ferry departs, Des's mother arrives, commanding him to return to shore, but he refuses, bidding her farewell. Des discusses with Phileas his desire to document their adventures and surpass Juan. 
Meanwhile, Agent Fix uses a cannon to launch herself onto the ferry. She confronts Dez, asking about Phileas, but Dez distracts her, allowing Phileas to escape. Eventually, Fix catches up, attempting to arrest them. However, a massive wave strikes the ship, throwing everyone off balance. Phileas grabs Dez, and they jump off the boat, using a surfboard to escape. Though Phileas rescues Dez from drowning, they lose all their supplies. Dez complains, but Phileas encourages him to have faith and continue the journey. Days pass as they paddle the surfboard in search of land, eventually arriving in a desert. Injan or Philly is burdened by all the misfortune. Billy retorts by describing his meeting with Passport 2 as an accident and claims he wants freedom from Passport 2's company. The argument escalates and they end up in a physical fight, biting and hitting one another. While fighting, they fall off a cliff and begin to hear drums. They hide and observe from the trees, spotting forest dwellers with a female frog as their prisoner. The forest dwellers plan to sacrifice the captive to the volcano god who resides in the nearby volcano. Villas is captivated by the frog's beauty and decides to rescue her. He confronts the locals and tries to negotiate, but the chief orders his capture. The locals, led by their chief, pursue Philly. Meanwhile, a catapult appears, speeding down a slope uncontrollably as the locals shoot flaming arrows at it. Now carrying Feliz and Passport 2, the, the frog expresses her gratitude for the rescue and introduces herself as Ada. Passport 2 explains their quest to Philly, who mocks them for walking instead of flying. Villas believes it's impossible, insisting birds can't fly, but Ada promises to make a plane when she reaches Akita City, using sophisticated navigation tools to guide them through several terrains over multiple days. Agent Fix tracks them closely. They take photos at each landmark and send them to Passport's mother. The group sets up camp for the night, and while Passport 2 sleeps, Villas and Ada stay up to share stories, realizing they have more in common than they initially thought, and begin to grow fond of each other. A fly interrupts their conversation, leading to a comical mishap where their tongues get tangled as they try to catch it. Passport 2 wakes to find them struggling to untangle their tongues, and promises not to mention it. Meanwhile, Fix awakens in the nest of a giant bird that mistakes her for one of its chicks. She manipulates the bird and plots against the others. The group eventually reaches Akita City on the 79th day. Passport 2 rushes into the city upon discovering a museum dedicated to Juan, a famous explorer. Philly urges them to continue their quest, but Passport 2 is too engrossed with the museum. Inside, Passport 2 faints at the sight of his idol, Juan, and Philly becomes furious upon seeing Juan. During the ensuing argument, Passport 2 learns that Juan is Philly's father. Suddenly, Fix swoops in, kidnapping Philly and taking him to jail. Passport 2 suggests they seek Ada's help to catch up with Fix and the bird that kidnapped Philly. Fix, meanwhile, reveals that she framed Philly for a bank robbery. Ada, finishing her plane, prepares to take off after Philly. The engine fails mid-flight, but Ada descends to fix it, igniting the engine just in time. Fix still holds Philly captive, but Ada's plane catches up. Philly refuses to board the plane until Juan leaves. Juan reminds him the bird would kill him, and as Philly tries to break free, Fix notices and drops him into the ocean. Juan dives in after him, but Philly refuses his help. Ada flies toward them, but Fix tries to stop her. In the ensuing chaos, the bird and the others plunge into the ocean. Ada returns just in time to save Villas and Juan, and they continue their journey resolving their differences. The adventure leads them to New Island, where Passport 2 becomes a world-class explorer. Passport